Mr. Speaker, during the 35 years I spent in the military, it was my privilege to lead outstanding men and women in our armed forces. Many are still serving today. They served with honor and distinction, yet here we are talking about treating the lowest paid of them like second-class citizens, unworthy of basic assistance in these difficult times. I was elected to Congress to represent everyone in the 12th Congressional District of Illinois. I represent the poorest county in the state of Illinois. 100,000 people in my district, most of them children or seniors, live below the poverty line. My district has a higher proportion of veterans than any other district in this state. I answer to active duty military and veterans who rely on SNAP benefits to make ends meet. They exist in my district and in every district represented in this House. Mr. Speaker, does anyone in this chamber wish to tell them that in this hour of need, their country is turning their back on them? Who among us wants to decide which of these service members which of these veterans deserves assistance and which do not? I know I don't. According to the Census Bureau, about 7% of people who, who report prior military service also report receiving SNAP benefits. Census data indicates that some 1.5 million households with a veteran are receiving SNAP benefits. The base pay of most recent enlistees from corporals on down are at or below the $23,000 poverty rate for a family of four. At military commissaries nationwide, nearly $88 million in SNAP benefits were redeemed. Stars and Stripes reported that in 2011, food stamp purchases at military commissaries tripled during the preceding four years. Just last month, the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities reported that approximately eight, excuse me, 900,000 veterans currently receive food aid and proposed cuts would impact around 170,000. According to the Hill newspaper, more than $98 million in SNAP benefits was redeemed by veterans in 2012. The Huffington Post reports that in 2011, both active duty members and re military retirees used more than $100 million in federal food aid last year. 16% of SNAP benefits are disabled many of them veterans. SNAP benefits are already scheduled to go down. On November 1st, families of three will lose $29 a month. Now that doesn't sound like very much, but the daily per person per meal benefit will be less than $1.40. Recently, one Illinois veteran was quoted saying, I relocated and the job I was supposed to get fell through. I lived off my savings but found myself needing to apply for emergency assistance to sustain until I found a job. I, like many others, was only receiving assistance for a short period of time, just five minutes for that veteran, but I don't know what I would have done without it. They served us with honor and distinction, Mr. Speaker. Some are still serving. Now it is time for us to serve them with a measure of honor and distinction of our own. I urge my colleagues to reject these shameful proposals, which would cut this basic level of assistance to deserving recipients who need it now more than ever. I yield back, Mr. Speaker.